A05 is uh, Dr. Nur Hidayah with her title Effectiveness of E-Learning and Guided Case-Based Learning as Personalized Learning Tool. So without further ado, I would like to welcome Dr. Nur Hidayah. Okay, thank you, Madam Moderator. So uh, I'll share my presentation. Okay, can everyone uh, yes. see Good. the presentation? Okay, so uh, today uh, I'm grateful to be able to share with you the uh, my UM data project titled The Effectiveness of E-Learning and Guided Case-Based Learning as Personalized Learning Tools. I am Dr. Noor Hidayah from Department of Pediatric Dentistry and Orthodontics. Uh, the actual team members of uh, this project is on... Uh, are only five, but I'm pleased to announce that actually all of the lecturers of uh, orthodontic discipline from our department participated and uh, uh, participated in this project. So as introduction, so Bachelor of Dental Surgery in University of Malaya is a five-year program. Uh, the orthodontics modules are one of the uh, modules in this five-year program and were taught in third year, uh, fourth year and final year. The students are required to diagnose patients and manage simple orthodontic treatment involving removable appliance. This is to uh, for them to gain a expected clinical experience set by the Dean's Dental Council. As part uh, of the learning experience, the students were required to prescribe, construct and insert removable appliance followed by reviewing the patients for orthodontic treatment. So, uh, traditionally, the students were exposed to uh, lectures, uh, tutorials, and clinical practice. In orthodontic module itself, conventionally, we uh, each lecture is followed by a tutorial roughly a week later. These tutorials are taught by various lecturers using a variety of teaching methods such as conventional classroom tutorial, online quizzes, face-to-face -face discussion, and case-based learning. However, the case-based learning is only uh, introduced in the final year. So personalized learning uh, is, uh, I, I take personalized learning as an instruction that is paced to students' learning needs and tailored to the students' learning experience and interests. Uh, by definition, it is the adaptation of the learning experience according to the dynamic uh, of the students uh, in order to facilitate the students most uh, efficiently and effectively to meet their learning objectives. So. How does the personalized learning differ from traditional learning? So I can summarize the difference between the traditional and personalized learning as the personalized uh, learning structure is based on mass, mass production of uh, teaching students in a fixed manner and expect them to accept or adjust to the system. Meanwhile, the personalized learning is based on their customization, teaching students uh, based, on the, based on their needs, and focus uh, heavily on equity and ensure that all students get the chance to succeed. So for our personalized learning method uh, tools, we use a case-based learning or CBL. CBL is a learning and teaching approach that aims to prepare the students for clinical practice using authentic clinical case. Uh, it takes place in a small face-to-face -face group, but may also take place online and commonly in large group. Uh, it appears that it, uh, CBL foster effective learning in smaller groups, possibly through the effect of having more engaged learners and having more structured learning activities closely linked to the clinical practice scenarios. So how does our students, our dental students, learn from case-based learning? So basically, the uh, case-based learning or CBL promotes deep learning approach with active and meaningful learning. It enables our dental students to see the direction of the relevance and logical direction of the knowledge to be learned for their goal for clinical practice in their clinical settings. So they are more motivated and are more likely to remember such information. CBL blends aspect of cognitive and social constructive models of teaching and learning by emphasizing the active and interactive components of the learning process. And it, CBL facilitates the development of reflective thinking and deeper conceptual understanding. So for, the, for our problem statement, the current teaching approach 
uh, failed to engage our students, our third year students uh, for the last academic session in the learning process of orthodontic course, which has led to 59% of them failed the orthodontic course last year. Hence, we felt that there is a need for a strong focus for this particular batch by changing the teaching style in hope that they could uh, grasp or understand the orthodontic course better. So we want to see if the, uh, if the CBL as a personalized learning tool can improve uh, their understanding. So CBL as a personalized learning tool has never been implemented in the current teaching and learning setting for the current batch who will be uh, fourth year in the academic session 2019 and 2020. So therefore, our aim of study is to assess the effectiveness of electronic or online CBL and guided CBL as personalized learning tools to facilitate students in achieving our learning outcomes. The, our objectives are mainly to assess the effectiveness of personalized learning and to explore students' perception uh, of the personalized learning tools. So this study was a prospective study conducted at Faculty of Dentistry, University of Malaya from October to December 2019. The ethical approval was granted by the Medical Ethics Committee, Faculty of Dentistry, University of Malaya. So prior to commencement of this study, two sets of assessment tools are comprised of one SAQ and one MEQ with respective marking rubrics that has been vetted by 11 orthodontic lecturers and face validated by our fresh first year orthodontic postgraduates. Two assessors were assigned to double mark the assessment based on the vetted rubrics and all the assessors were calibrated for standardization. We also constructed a, a set of questionnaire uh, that were face validated by expert in the educational field and pre-tested and modified based on the feedback by 10 final year undergraduate students. It consisted two parts which assess feedback regarding the tutorial method and the second part which are the open-ended question to assess the student perception. Responses were recorded using the five-point Likert scale from strongly disagree to strongly agree and also an open-ended question for positive and negative feedback. So we also prepared a CBL material for this study. This CBL materials was constructed and the content validity was analyzed by taking opinions of all the subject experts in the field of orthodontics. So the same set of CBL were then converted to an electronic version and uploaded to the spectrum using an online platform blend space. So we started off with 49 uh, year, fourth year undergraduate dental students who, uh, who attended all three lectures from week one to week three. Um, all, all of the uh, sorry, all of the students attended all of the lectures and give consent to participate in our study. So as for the first assessment, uh, one week after the last lecture, the students uh, attended the, their first assessment, um, whereby the students were given uh, approximately uh, forty minutes to complete it, to complete their first assessment. And after the first assessment, the two assessors mark the task based on rubrics that has been previously vetted by the uh, orthodontic lecturers within the faculty. Following this, a personalized feedback on the participant performance from both assessors and the rubrics were shared as part of their formative assessment. So based on the result of T0, participants were then uh, separated into two groups. The group ET or e-tutorial group comprised of those who have achieved the learning outcomes and group CT for those who fail to achieve the learning outcomes. So a tutorial at T0, uh, T, uh, sorry, a tutorial was conducted two weeks later with a different activity uh, for each group to cater their learning needs. ET group experienced a personalized e-learning tutorial with a case-based to be complete on spectrum, whereby the participants work independently on their own and online feedback was provided via uh, Padlet. Meanwhile, uh, for the group CT, they attended a conventional classroom tutorial when, the when they were divided into a smaller group with a lecturer to student ratio of one to five to allow more personalized approach. 
a general feedback regarding the previous assessment outcome was given and the student uh, were given uh, the guided CBL uh, activities after that. The students had the opportunity to ask any question pertaining to the lectures, assessment or the CBL activity. Two weeks after the uh, tutorial, uh, the participants were subjected to a second assessment at T1. Similar to the first assessment, two assessors marked the task and personalized feedback and rubrics were shared with the students. The outcome of this assessment will provide information regarding the effectiveness of the teaching methods and learners' ability to achieve the learning outcome. So finally, uh, participants were then required to complete an online questionnaire to assess their perception on the effectiveness of personalized learning as a uh, teaching and learning method. So for our result, the data analysis was carried out using SPSS, but T-test was used to compare the performance between groups, uh, between, sorry, between two different times and uh, Man Whitney U-test was used to assess the student perception on the effectiveness of personalized learning. So for our demographic characteristics, we have eight male and 41 female students participate in our study and the average age was 22.1 years old. So uh, for the first, looking at the performance at the first assessment, uh, we have 69% uh, of our students achieve learning outcome. Meanwhile, another 30% failed to achieve the learning outcome. The overall average mark for all the students was 60%. Meanwhile, the SAQ uh, was slightly better, 65% in comparison to the MEQ. So based on the uh, first preliminary, preliminary result of the first assessment, we then uh, divided them into two groups. So after they had their second assessment, we compare the second assessment with the first assessment and we find that the total overall mean score at T1, at T1 uh, is higher than com in comparison to T0 and this is statistically significant. However, there is no, not much of difference in SEQ. In terms of MEQ, we can see that there is a statistically significant difference or uh, improvement of uh, the scores uh, from T0 to T1. Then we look at the uh, scores individually. So for group ET, the mean total score and the score of the SAQ and MEQ was almost similar from T0, between T0 and T1, and it's not significant. So however, for group CT, the overall score and the score of MEQ alone are higher at T1 and T0, uh, than T0 and statistically significant. So we then look at the student's perception on guided case-based learning and electronic CBL based on the questionnaire that we have uh, asked the students to self-answer. Uh, so this table shows the result of men with new test for each question of the questionnaire. We have six different questions and this test indicated that the preference of students was significantly significantly greater for guided case-based learning than the e-learning. The students preferred the uh, guided CBL more significantly than the e-learning for all the STEMs. So we also look at the uh, thematic analysis on uh, open-ended question for particularly uh, guided CBL tutorials. Thematic analysis on strength and weaknesses uh, has been uh, carried out on an open-ended question. So students perceive that guided CBL was more interactive, promote critical thinking and more personalized as it is easier for them to ask questions. Meanwhile, uh, 10 out of 14 students responded that guided CBL had no weaknesses. However, two students uh, commented that they had uh, maybe unprepared for the tutorial session. So for the thematic analysis on the electronic CBL tutorials, in terms of strength, students perceive it as flexible, convenient, and promote uh, active learning. However, the weaknesses of e-tutorial include lack of uh, guidance, technically challenging, uh, lack of uh, resources, and not interactive. 
So we have come to discussion. So uh, the overall result shows that CBL as the personalized learning tool with the CBL uh, as the personalized learning tool, uh, the students got better in both SAQ and MEQ assessment. However, it was only significant in MEQ. MEQ commonly depicts uh, different stages of clinical scenario that require appraisal of problem solving or decision making. This result in more, more in-depth assessment of smaller range of topics and test higher order thinking and understanding. So, however, in contrast, SAQ assess a wider range of subject areas, but to a much more superficial depth. So, personalized learning has therefore improved students' understanding of the topics to a greater depth. But when we analyze the groups uh, of students separately, personalized learning in form of guided uh, CBL appeared to have enhanced in group CT in comparison uh, of group e, uh, ET. In form of uh, online CBL, personalized learning has not affected the scores of the better performing in group ET. Students uh, who already comprehend better understanding of the lecture topics, personalized using e-learning has not been really helpful. So in our study, we found that the students preferred the uh, guided uh, CBL significantly more than e-learning. The guided CBL was well received by the students with 71 students uh, responded that uh, it has no weaknesses, but, uh, and they perceive CBL, the guided CBL as interactive, promote critical thinking and more personalized. On the other hand, the students uh, perceive the e-tutorial was more flexible, convenient and promote active learning. But the drawbacks of the e-tutorial includes the lack of guidance, technical challenge and not interactive. This is contrast with a study by a CV who reported the dental students' attitude was positive regarding the online learning. However, a systematic review concluded that online learning is equally as effective as traditional learning methods. So the implementation of learning become inevitable in the teaching and learning process of uh, in universities, especially during this pandemic uh, situation. However, the e-learning readiness of the student must be taken into account before it is fully implemented. A study among UM students revealed a moderate le level of e-learning readiness, which suggests the importance of making students aware of the technology in the e-learning and the availability of technological uh, resources. So in terms of the impact uh, from this study, we started off uh, with 59 failure of the third year students last year. They are unable to achieve their course learning outcome. And after the, this study, at the end of their fourth year, the same batch of students, all of them pass or pass their orthodontic module and achieve the uh, course learning outcome for this year, which is a uh, very, is, which is a uh, really a uh, relief for us. Um, and as for next year, we plan for the, for the undergraduate coordinators for orthodontics discipline for 2020, 20 and 21 academic session. We plan to convert more tutorial session into CBL. Uh, in fact, two CBL session for uh, this particular uh, orthodontic course. So um, the reports of these uh, findings uh, must be, uh, there is some limitation of this study. Firstly, the students, the study concentrated only one batch of students from one faculty and one public higher education institution in Kuala Lumpur. Personally, we think that the sample size is quite small and we hope that more, uh, we could gather more uh, sample size of participants, uh, perhaps another set of batch, or include another uh, public institution, public uh, education institution uh, in our study, and perhaps includes uh, get the lecturers or the educators' opinion in this matter for more generalized uh, result. So based on the performance in the first assessment, the students were allocated to designated group with predetermined learning methods. So the problem, uh, so we have 
uh, we the problem with grouping these students into respective learning methods is that we are giving a generalized inference for their uh, learning needs and preference of uh, personalized training. So this may not um, this may hinder the individualization approach to learning. So as my conclusion, the guided case-based learning as personalized learning tool may facilitate non-performing and performing students to achieve the CLO and both teaching methods, either online or a guided CBL, were well received and catered for the level of performance. So last but not least, we would like to acknowledge the students, all lecturers and UMD uh, part, uh, 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 staff who participated and contributed in this study. Special thanks for UMD the grant for funding this research. These are my references. With that, uh, I thank you and I would like to wish uh, in advance to all Malaysian happy Independence Day. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hidayah. Happy Independence Day to us all. <laughs> uh, nice sharing. Um, we will keep the question and answer session to the end of the session. So we hope that you will stay around. Okay. But uh, thank you for your um, presentation. Okay, welcome.